morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm here for the selection test. Very well. Here's your letter. Name. It says right there. Carlos Juristiki Santos. Yeah, look at that, this score. <coughs> you can do it inside. Excuse me, I've already filled out this form, or one very like it. Yes! Know what this drawn home method is? Drawn home, right? Drawn home. Drawn home. Yes. Uh, well, no, but I guess it's the selection method they use. I know that. It even says so here. Drawn home personnel selection method. Do you know what it is? Well, I guess it's a method of bringing the candidates together and making us interact to see who stands out. Group dynamics is called. It's like those clauses used by lawyers and multinational companies to cover their facts. Yes, to avoid lawsuits. Good morning. Hello. It's logical, isn't it? Today you can be sued for almost anything. Why do they need to be so careful with that? Well, already filled out a form like this. Excuse me. Already filled out a form like this. In fact, I've filled out two forms, each for one interview I had. <coughs> and my resume almost gives out the same details. I really don't see a reason why I should do it again. Everyone's doing it. Yes, and? And? Well, I don't think I'm the only one here who thinks that this is, a bit, I don't know, slightly humiliating. No one's forcing you to do it. What? It's not obligatory. Well? Only fill it out if you want to be assessed. This is part of the test. Maybe that trying to see a patience or something, because if that's so, I do it for a third time. I don't know why it bothers you so much. I really don't know. But I think that was such an inflexible attitude. I'm just saying it for your own good. It's not my problem. It's incredible. I'm the one filling out a form three times, and yet I'm the inflexible. All right. All right. You've shown that you don't lower yourself. Let the rest of us do it if you want to.
Maybe that's why they made us sign the Gronholm clause. If it's illegal to use cameras, signing clauses doesn't make it legal. I'll ask the secretary what we are waiting for. <coughs> I'm Carlos Diaristiki Santos, and I'm an economist. Uh, one question. Is they part of your surname, or <laughs> do you add it spontaneously? It's a part of it. Uh, I studied economics from the University of uh, from Cambridge, and I mastered communications from the University of Columbia. Where do you work? At the marketing and communications <coughs> department of an English cell phone company, soon to be set up in Spain. What company? Brickell. Yeah. Uh, can you two corroborate all of that? Yes. Well, it's been over three years since we met. Uh, you were working in Barcelona, right? Yes. And you weren't in your present job then? No. no. Can each confirm that the other was a psychologist back then? Yes, of course. Well, we knew each other only for a few days. He wasn't a psychologist. That's no use. They could both be lying. If one of them is the mole, he'll have lied. The other won't say anything. He has an advantage. We're saying what our jobs are. You can believe it or not. Frankly speaking, your opinion doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's continue and we'll all be in good condition. I am Ricardo Aces and I won't say where I work. Why is that? Because I don't want my company to find out about this. We won't tell them. Everything gets out eventually. There seems to be a certain lack of collaboration in this group. What group? We're competing for the same job here.
I'm Fernando de Monagas. I do have the day spontaneously. <laughs> and I do refuse to say where I work. Not out of caution like our colleague Ricardo. But I don't intend to make things easier. As clear as that, if someone is observing us, the first thing they'll notice is our capacity to get results. And here, the result is to discover the most. Is that clear? Crystal clear. I don't think they'll only assess the capacity to impose ourselves on others. What will they assess? Our capacity to work as a team, for example. Yes, we're supposed to discover the mole, not compete with one another. Of course. And they name all of us head of department a uh, team. No, I don't think I'm betting on the gentleman on the left. I'm betting that he's the mole I mean. And I'm doing it before he introduces me. They ask why. Of course. Obviously. You mentioned the hidden cameras, the American test. It was you who said that maybe no one would come from the firm. And quite honestly, it seems that for you, this Big Brother style rock in is wonderful. That's not nothing to do with it. I just want to have a positive attitude. <laughs> You've got it. Believe me. May I ask how you know so much about these tests? Yes, of course. Uh, the fact is, a few years ago, I worked at an electronic components factory called Sonivision. Sonivision? Yes, Sonivision. Uh, it's on the Barcelona Road, uh, Kilometro of the Santa Cinco, Area 4, Lot 16. Uh, by the way, I'm Enrique Leon, and I'm currently working at a similar company called Somco. Did you work in human resources, personnel selection? No, no. I was financial director, but it was a small company, practically family run, so someone had to do it. Excuse me, how come you know so much about these American methods? I got into the habit of keeping myself informed about <coughs> selection techniques, group dynamics, all that sort of how thing. How do you do that? Magazines, internet. Well, that's where you learned about group dynamic selection yes, cameras. It is. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't believe you either. I'll vote for you too as the vote. I vote for you too. I don't think this is fair. No, don't take it personally. I'm sorry, but it all points to you. What do you say? Well, I think they're playing with us. Who? They told us that there was a false candidate. But I think we're all real candidates. And there's no imposter. Hmm. I still think it's Enrique. <laughs> As you wish. So we've got five votes. Five votes and one abstention. <sighs> what about you, Enrique? Are you going to abstain or vote for someone? And what do you want to do now? Search me? Or maybe lynch me? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you just uh, put your name in this. All right? <laughs> Enrique Leon. I wouldn't have guessed. <laughs> There's another note. Uh, do you have it? No. Now you'll have to apologize. To face the next test, you must first choose a group leader. The person cannot be chosen by majority vote. He or she must be chosen by consensus. They don't say who the mole is. No, that's all. No. They don't say? No, they don't. Because one of us here is not one of us. There's no mode. We have to, so we have to choose a group leader now. How do we choose? Well, we don't know each other, so it'll have to be on pure intuition. And on pure intuition, I propose Enrique as leader. No, I categorically refuse to pick the mode. You're really set on that. <laughs> uh, Fernando, if may I, I may ask, why so? If he were the mole, he'd be the perfect choice. None of us would have an advantage.
what does it mean? All right, so we have three words for Julio, one abstention, one each for Carlos, Enrique, and Fernand. I support Julio too. Four words for Julio. Yes, me too, of course. Julio. You know, Julio, it was very noble of you to abstain. Uh, yes, oh, that wasn't me. What? No? no. Five words for Julio. What do you want to do? All right. Given the circumstances, I wish to announce that I have nobly ceded my vote to Julio. No, don't thank me. All right. Now there is just one vote to clarify. Is there anyone who doesn't support Julio? What? Clarify. Very well. Thank you for your trust, everyone. I did what had to be done to avoid a disaster. When was it? May 2011, it says here. Uh, you won all the news programs, I remember. <laughs> you got a hero among us. Thank you, really. I would have preferred it hadn't gone that far. Uh, you're making it difficult for the rest of us. So what happened after you reported your company? Well, we managed to stop the pollution and disaster was avoided. But weren't there 200 layoffs? 200, yes, 200. We had to choose the lesser of two evils. It meant making some investments and reducing profits for a few years, but the board won't listen. Excuse me, I have a question. Yes. Did you mention all this in your resume or did the company discover it on its own? I didn't mention it. I mean, I don't hide it either, but the fact is I don't think it's a part of my resume. So they've done their homework. There's another note. Do you have it? No. Now decide what you would do with Julio Quintana's application if you were part of this company's personnel department. Your decision will determine whether or not he remains in the selection process. I think we are starting to find out what the draw method is. Do they have something like that for each one of us? I think as a starting point that today, uh, ecology and respect for the environment is a fact that no decent company can afford to disregard. If I may, Enrique, <coughs> we need to tackle the problem head on, right? We need to decide whether we trust <coughs> You did betray the company you were working for. I didn't did betray anyone. I told you I tried to talk to the board. They left me no choice. I'm not denying you did all you could, but you did betray them. I didn't betray anyone. They left me no other choice if I didn't want to be part of the disaster in River Duero. I don't want to pass judgments on what you did. Well, you are. You are not. Yes, you are from the moment you called it a betrayal. We have to decide as if we were them, not judge who you are. I think the secret won't work. So you know what I want? Except you calling what I did a betrayal. I tried everything I could. They left me no other choice. It's important you didn't betray your company for your own benefit, but for the common good, you know. I mean, uh, the river would have never recovered. Anyway, sooner or later, the plant would have shut down and the company's image would have been much worse. Uh, just look at what the article says about I'm it. sorry to insist. We're not discussing the morality of Julio's decision. We are discussing whether we'd give him the job if we had the responsibility of doing so. Really? The question here is, where should decisions be taken? Looking at it that way, no, I... No, not even then. What we have to discuss is the consequences of our decisions. If the company asked you, would you do something illegal? Would you? I would pick Julio. And I'll tell you why. In the end, what matters for a company are the results of a decision. In fact, the best companies are those that absorb the best ideas, wherever they come from. In the case of the chemical plant or whatever Julio's company was, the problem laid within the board of management. It was their responsibility, quite clearly, for having accepted a suicidal risk in emptying waste into the water and for not foreseeing consequences such as Julio's renunciation. Exactly. In fact, a rival company didn't waste half a day before hiring you, right? Yes. All right. I don't have the data to judge the case. But maybe, maybe the rivals hired him to improve their own image. Or maybe he negotiated his departure before reporting the damage. I'm 
Sorry. It's nothing personal. It doesn't matter what we do. Of course it does. I don't agree with leaving moral judgment aside. It's inevitable to make. What to make? I think what Julio did was right. <coughs> he was wrong. What's wrong? I'd have done the same thing if I had no other choice. None of us doubts that your aim, your intention was correct. It's just that today we have to decide if in these circumstances we give you the job. And there's one <coughs> little detail that makes me think I would. Not that you put others' interests before those of your company. It's just that you were mistaken in how you did it. If you were so obviously right that the company was wrong on both a moral and a business level, how could you not make them see it? Sure, there must have been a company error too, but it's Julio we're judging here today. Therefore, in conclusion, I think you were unable to establish a correct, efficient form of communication with the board, because of which I could not give you the job. I'm sorry. Shall we vote? Yes. I have to say, after the debate, which I thought was very interesting, I would not accept Julio's application to join this company. Sorry. <coughs> well, if I were the company, I wouldn't hire Julio, but I don't know if I want to vote. That's very clever of you. Voting means accepting responsibility for expelling Julio. No, that's what they call it. Expulsion. The company has given us this responsibility without our permission and free of charge. And you've accepted it without a word and assumed that is what the company expects of you. But, but if it isn't so, are you sure it's what the company wants from you? Well, so we have three votes. Three and one abstention. Technically, it's a draw. The company can decide, right? I did what I could. Come and tell me to my face! This isn't it. What? Everything. It's very well thought out, you have to admit. I did learn a lot. That debate, for example, I thought one thing and then that girl near this made me change my mind. The system is very good. It's very good. What do you think? Maybe you're the interviewer here with all your questions. The business with Julio. One less candidate, right? You think so? The only thing I'm worried about is they have something like that for each one of us to use when they feel it's necessary? Copy. Oh, thank you. Why? The defense of Julio made it very difficult. If it was so good, why did you vote against it?
better job than I had in Barcelona, and I came. So do you like being in Madrid? Haven't had the time to find out. I haven't stopped working. Yes, because uh, you came soon after we met, right? When was the tourist conference? Easter, 2003. We had a good time. A very good time. It's a pity we met here, isn't it? Why? Because now I have to meet you. Oh, on the contrary, I think that makes things even more exciting. Arguments. Whoever is, whoever is expelled from Shetland must also abandon the selection process. These are our resumes. Must we stick to our resumes? What? <laughs> no, no, this can't be. Uh, it's so we can check what each one says, I guess. Well, there are certain things you can use in the shelter that aren't really there in a resume. Uh, such as what? Well, cooking, for example. I was just about to say that. I'm a great cook. I can do wonders. The thing is, it says you have demonstrable arguments. I don't know whether what you say is true. Why don't you start? You seem to have it all figured out. Yes. Uh, very well. As you know, I've worked and I'm still working at, at electronic components companies. Uh, if you look at my resume, you'll see I've also done courses in electronics and electricity. So, um, I'd be able to build a radio. In case there was life outside or life came back. I'm sorry, I have to ask. Weren't you the financial director? Yes, but the courses I did went into great detail. Just look at my resume. I've seen it. I'm looking at it. But sufficient detail so you can build a radio. That's what I'm saying. Ask me about it if you want. Excuse me, if it's a shelter, won't there already be a radio? Why? Who says so? No one, I'm presuming. If it doesn't say so, you can't presume anything. And there will be electrical maintenance to be done too. I think good cooking is more important. Well, we just discussed the shop actually. Has anyone thing. done military service? <laughs> then I could take charge of organization and rationing. You'll forget the meaning of the word mutiny. Yes, sir, on the double. Two days are rushed outside the shelter without a gas mask. Will I have to do push ups? Yes. <laughs> Later. <laughs> in front of me. Oh. Why do we need someone in charge of organization and ration? Excuse me? Because it's always needed. Who says so? You, for example, when we were talking about Julio. I was talking about running a company, not living in a shelter. What's more, we're all adults and there's a thing called dialogue. Of course, but we are not arguing about playing cards or checkers. Twenty years in an atomic shelter isn't a vacation yet. All right. We could take turns to organize the rationing. Great. Um, uh, Nieves, Nieves, imagine. It was your turn, for example. And I decide that I want double rations because I feel like I woke up with an appetite. If we're going to start like that, then there's I really- I won't no do everything on my own if that's your question. But between us, we can stop you. I'm talking about you. Not them. Are you going to persuade them to act together? Or are you going to make them all turn on me? Are you the mole trying to provoke things? Yes. I'll do all that. What's more, I'll make sure you're left outside the shelter. You're very dangerous. How much more dangerous am I than Carlos and Enrique? Just enough. Don't get big ideas. But I'm funnier too, aren't I? Oh, hilarious. Of course, tell me, tell me. You trust them more than me? <clears throat> of course. <coughs> I could accept that authority is needed, but I wouldn't be alongside a military officer. The military thing was just an excuse. <laughs> you'd vote for me because you'd be safe under my authority, if you behave that is. What are you saying? I'm saying that you as a woman among so many men prefer that there's authority, so you feel more protected. Fernando, sweetheart, where have you escaped from? <laughs> Fernando, I just looked at your resume, states that you're a trained lawyer. Why didn't you mention it? That could assure you a position in the 
gender. And what good is a lawyer in a world devastated by nuclear radiation? Well, now, if he was a physicist. The law is always needed. Even after the atomic bomb, you can't deny that. What use is law without authority? Shit, John Wayne. <laughs> All I'm saying is that <coughs> if, if anyone eats double ration, I'll beat the shit out of them. <laughs> and if anyone doesn't clean up, he'll get the same treatment. I give my word on that. What if you don't comply? Who'll control you? You. Oh, sweet. <laughs> so can we leave Fernando with the role of the judge and an executioner if necessary? <laughs> what do you propose, Ricardo? Well, me? Yeah. I offer my services as a doctor in case the judge gets carried away. I've studied two and a half years of medicine, as stated in my resume, so I know quite a bit. That's not bad. That was a clever move, Ricardo. And after all that fuss about not telling us where you work, we can read it here at our ease. Joint manager at the transport department of Merkelex. Did you go to class? Excuse me, what? <laughs> when you were a student, did you go to class? Yes, I did. Why? <laughs> no reason. You've taken my argument away. I was going to offer myself as a doctor. You studied medicine too? No, but uh, I go mountain climbing and I've done a few courses on first aid, anatomy, alternative medicine. And... Uh, come on, that's pushing it a bit, isn't it? No, why? Well, I've done first aid courses too. I don't call myself a doctor. <laughs> I guess you're right. I was just playing for time. <coughs> the thing is, I can't actually find anything of use in my resume. Wait, wait. There is one thing. I'll tell each one of you a story every night. What? Oh, bear with me. It may sound a bit odd. Story. It may sound a bit odd, but I did study literature for quite a few years, and I do read a lot. I can make your life underground much more bearable. <clears throat> really, Carlos, that was a very good attempt. But if you forgive me, right now I think that Anna and you are the worst qualified. Because you say so? There's a doctor, there's a judge, and there's a technician. And a cook. Yes. What, don't you like how she cooks? <laughs> oh, and what use is a radio when the world has been destroyed? No, tell us. Well, uh, I was just giving my opinion. Yes, you were. Davis, <laughs> you're last. Well, um, I offer to be the mother of all your children. <laughs> Atomic humanity. <laughs> All right, I, I hadn't thought about that. I can fulfill that role too. <laughs> that just needs you, Carlos. I'm sorry, Anna. I don't mean to be rude, but aren't you a, a tad old? No. Are you sure? I'm not 20, I know. No, 30. I still have a few fertile years, and I have a child which proves that I can have them. Yes, but for how much longer will you be able to be a mother still? I'm sorry to insist, but aren't you at a dangerous age already? The risks are acceptable still. Are they only like teenagers? I don't think this is getting us anywhere. No, I no, think uh, it's just... good. They have to argue to see who wins. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think between good cooking and telling a story... What? It's obvious! <laughs> Have you read Jack London? What? Uh, Jack London? He, he has a story about some Eskimos who migrate when the seasons change. There's a man who's old, weary, nearly blind, who feels he can't keep up with the tribe. So, the whole group stops. They say goodbye to him, one by one. His children too. They leave him there, just like that, with a little pile of firewood, the old man sits in the snow, calmly recollecting his life. And when the wood runs out, he freezes to death. Is that one of the stories you tell us? <laughs> Why ever not? It's very educational. I think a lot of people could learn from it. Who do you think you are? You think you're better off with your stories? How dare you call me old? Little ass licker. You know, they can screw me. Yeah, they can screw me. What, what are you going to do? Offer them your ass? <laughs> it would be best if you all voted and kept us from insulting each other. 
She's right. Let's vote. Who wants me to stay in the shelter? Uh, without a doubt, I'm voting for the cook. Nieves. Uh, I'll do the same as before. I'm abstaining. No, oh, don't mind. <laughs> so, you can put Anna's name in the box? Before you throw me out, I'd like to ask you all a question. Is it because I'm old, because I'm a woman, or both? We're not throwing you out. <laughs> then, then don't vote. The, do like Ricardo, abstain. Let the company decide. Yes, like you did with Julio. They're not throwing you out for the reasons you're saying. It's because you couldn't defend your presence in the shadow. So I think. What's going on down there? I'm sorry, Anna. I did the same as you, defend myself. I was just playing a role to win the game. I didn't mean any of those things I said, honestly. imagination or does this really smell bad? How? Is it good? Oh, great. It's fantastic. You think so? The method, I mean. Uh, yes, uh, forget the Americans. In my opinion, it's very good. in our mouths uh, from earlier. Why didn't you call? I left you several messages. Do you remember that night on the beach? If we'd done all we said, we'd be living in Africa now. On the seashore? In a cabin. An arm's reach from the water. Running a bar on the beach to make ends meet. Because we'd have to feed all our children. That's right. Lots of African children. A full soccer team. It was nice dreaming with you. Likewise. So why didn't you call? Did you have a husband or a boyfriend? I, I, I don't mind. The past <laughs> is the past. <laughs> I just want to see if I have a chance. 
Did you have that child with us? I had one who looked a lot like you. A little African boy. Handsome like you. Excuse me. What are you doing? Forgive me, I'm really sorry. I don't know how it happened. You don't know how it happened. <laughs> really? No. I'm sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. It'll wash out. Yeah. Do you need help? Shut up. Yes, absolutely fine. Forgive me, but if I may say so, you seem a bit strange. <laughs> a bit strange? When? All the time, since you arrived. I advise you to be more participative, more positive. I don't know, it's just that these damn forms have really irritated me. Why? Look at Julio. Don't you think he deserved another chance? Yes, well, I don't know about that. You're not just what you've done, but also what you propose to do. Maybe you have something to hide. Maybe you're the mole. <laughs> it's just something silly. It's not even important. This is something that I forgot to mention in the first form that I filled. And I had to keep it out of the other two forms and had to keep hiding it all along. But given the way these people are, they think I'm lying and wouldn't forgive me. That's why I've been so pissed and tense about all these damn forms. Yes, it makes sense to have us fill them out so often. I just realized that. And uh, what was that lie, uh, that secret? Call it a secret or a lie, but it's not important. When I was a student back in Argentina, I started working for a state-owned company. It was later on privatized and the management carried out what they call structural readjustments. It was a covert way of firing staff because they had decided not to dismiss anyone. So naturally, there was a union action. And since I was part of the staff, I became part of the union. Well, a union delegate. Yes, exactly. An executive with a union background. If these guys ask those guys for references. Hello. How are things? I've been wanting to talk to you alone all day and this is the best moment. Well, I don't want to. Don't want to what? Talk. To do anything alone with you. Do you think that camera's in here? I don't. It'd be too much, wouldn't it? Why do you ask? It's the only place here where we can be ourselves, where we can take off our disguises. You mean our clothes? Yes, that too. We'd understand each other much better. Sorry, Fernando. The Iberian macho doesn't turn me on. What a pity. You say that every day in the mirror. Do you always look like that when you say it? To your regret. Yes. Only certain situations turn you on, right? 
And only bastards like me know what those are. If you don't mind, I have to wash. I don't mind at all. Go ahead. You said I could trust you. Didn't you? Yes, I, I still say it. Then hang up my blouse and leave. My shirt. What are you doing? Finish it off yourself. <laughs> Fucking bitch. <laughs> you know the march was a success. It was even bigger than the entire war protest. It's a pity we can't see the street from here. So did you join the protest or did you take a day off to come here? In your company, I mean. Wearing a thousand euro suit and protesting against the World Bank. <laughs> well, why not? If you stop and think about it, today you're here at Deki and you feel a part of it. And tomorrow you get slashed. Some of what they are saying is true. IMF is destroying the world. If I hadn't been screwed up in Argentina, do you think I would be here right now? There are things that a million marches can't change. Are you sure? Do you really think so? Well, well, maybe you're right, but you'll accept that the world is crap right now. I wish I could say otherwise. You know, these people marching downstairs. I, I envy their conviction, don't you? Oh. Oh. <coughs> if you if you really think that a march could change things, won't you do it? Won't you really do it? Well, if I really believe, that's what I mean. I envy that conviction. on a fence right now. You don't join the protest, but you take a day off. No, no, don't distort things. I asked the day off to come here. And you keep everyone happy. The employees think that you're a liberal and the bosses think that you're a sensible you man. You to make me look like an opportunist. That isn't so. I understand the reasons for the march, now, as well as you do. And I defend them if necessary. But certain categories of employees can't just run out and join every parade. Where is that written? I don't know if it's written, but that's how it is. An executive can't just go out and join a protest as if he had no responsibilities. Why is that? Because it would be hypocritical. This protest is against how the world is being managed. Look, if you understand the reasons for the protest, why not join it? Be it a laborer or a bank manager. If you're a bank manager, you pick up the phone, you call the president of the government, and you tell him what you think of it all. Okay. Look, we agree that whether you're an employee, an executive, a businessman, or a bank manager, you can think whatever you want of the IMF and the World Bank. You can very well look away if you see that nothing is at stake. But in this particular case, it is important. All right. Uh, thank you. Talking about the protest, you won't believe what's going on down there. All the companies have closed for the afternoon. Really? Yes, of course. Right now, you can't even walk on the street. That's why the booth is going. Uh, so you said. So, what were you saying about the protest? Can be against it. Do you mean you support it? Someone in our position can't support a protest. Enrique, it's one thing not to join a protest, but you said that you agree with the reasons. <coughs> no, 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 what I mean is, I understand the reasons, but I don't agree with them. I can't agree with the what protest. You just told me you did. No, don't twist things around. You God. just told me so. Don't include me with you. I'm not in any union. Uh, what I, mean, I didn't mean to say that. What I mean is that you and I are very different attitudes towards these things. <laughs> you fucking rat bastard. Uh, what is this about? Let's not get upset. I didn't mean to say that. What was it? What was it you didn't mean to say? Uh, nothing. 
Excuse me, he just said it's nothing important. Are you telling me what I can ask? What? Is this part of the test? Because he just said that it's nothing important. I really don't see a reason why I need to go on about it. Forget it, Ricardo. It's in the past. She's the one asking questions. And anyway, you're the one who gave me away. Just one moment, Enrique. Is there something the company should know? <laughs> Maybe you should ask him why? about it. I'm, <coughs> well, I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to tell you what you should ask anyone. I would never dare. But the Do fact you know you... something? Excuse me, I'm not willing to sit and go through this. Don't you see, it's humiliating. It's not humiliating. Oh, exactly. fuck me! This guy's too much. Do one thing. Give this little bitch your shoe to lick. <laughs> Excuse me, I think I told you this at the beginning. No one is forcing you to stay here, but while you're in this room, the company lays out the rules. Don't you see what's going on? If you don't mind, I would rather not be a... Don't you see what this... What you know about Let's me. Just calm down. Think about this. And what you know about me Come is on. what I told you. Come on, please. Let's not blow this out of proportion. It was just a simple <coughs> oversight on a phone. An oversight in the phone that I don't want them to know now. I think you're going overboard. Don't you guys have anything to say? Are you just going to sit there? Don't involve me. It's your business. I'm very sorry things have gone this far. Yes, of course. But Enrique, you know something that the company should know and doesn't know, but you won't say what it is. I don't know, but your idea of company loyalty is a bit strange. This is fucking unbelievable. <laughs> Look, you're going to have to leave now, aren't you? Uh, what does it matter if I tell her? <laughs> I'm not going to give you the pleasure of seeing me leave. So? If you're going to do it, look at me. <laughs> if you're going to do it, do it to my face! It was nothing. It's just that Ricardo, while he was in Argentina, worked for a state company. When it was privatized, he became a union leader and completely screwed the new management, which is probably Spanish. Leon. How are you? <laughs> fine. And you? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. Oh, by the way, I'm the mole. <laughs> so, Enrique, tell me, how do you like the method now? It's really good, isn't it? Correct. What do you all think? How would you qualify what Enrique did? Have you got anything to say? Yes. Yes, I, uh, of course. Uh, well, I want to say that, that I agree completely. I agree 
that um, I don't know what what happened. I guess I thought I said he carried away in the moment. I, I thought that as Secretary Motse, I, I thought that she. It, it's so silly, isn't it? Uh, I want to apologize to all of you for what I made you go through. <laughs> and Rika, I still don't think I know what you think about what you did. About what? Telling the company about me, should you have done it or not? Yes! Yes! No, I don't think I should have done it. Yes or no? Yes or no? What? Yes or no, should you have done it? Yes! No! I don't know! I don't know! I don't know! Apply again when you've clarified your ideas. We'll be happy to assess you again. But at this moment, you're of no use to us. Good afternoon. So, with a bit of luck, we'll be going home soon. So, what shall the next test be? Ricardo. Yes. Just one question. Yes. Are there cameras or not? <laughs> no, of course not. Of course not. Not because. It's illegal because we think it's unethical. We will do something like that. Although companies do have cameras, they record interviews and all sorts of things. But no, we won't do something like that. We wouldn't dream of it. So we are having fun, aren't we? Monse. It's not bad, it's dense. Because of Enrique? For example. If you ask me, Enrique was the only one who enjoyed himself the most. He was sitting there all day, really into it, focused. Enrique didn't do bad. In fact, he was the only one who participated the most. Coffee? No, thanks. I'd like some. Yes, of course. Enrique will be feeling a bit low today, and he'll feel so for a few more days, but in the long run, don't you all agree that it will all be of some use to him? Well, as Enrique would say, looking at it that way. <laughs> no, seriously, some candidates thank me even if they are eliminated. They tell me that all this prepares them for the daily struggle, it makes them aware about their possibilities and limitations. It was the army that came up with selection test. After World War I in Germany, the Treaty of Versailles had greatly restricted the German army, so they submitted their officers to selection tests. And to assess their better, they had psychologists present too. It was adopted by the English army, then by the American army, and then by the companies. Well, it's good to learn something new. One of you, I mean. Oh, 
really good. It's a pity only one will be left. Anyway. Monse? Darling, can I have the ball, please? So, do you all remember the jokes about an Englishman, a Frenchman, and a Spaniard? <laughs> <coughs> Set on a ham. Crepes. Uh, pudding. Put it on it. Tartar. Uh, whiskey. Absinthe. <coughs> Sarsparilla. <coughs> Damn it. English drinks are lousy. Uh, shut up. Carry on, Fernando. Soccer player. Uh, roll. Uh, Rooney. Zidane. Very good. Valeron. Owen. Mendieta. Zizou. He's the same person. Yes, but he's French. But he's the same person. Skip soccer. Fernando, start with contributions to humanity. What? <laughs> Stella and Hammond. Guillotine. The Inquisition. Uh, Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Sh Quixote. Republic. What, can't you throw it to each other? <laughs> I read in macho. Contributions to humanity aren't necessarily good. Carlos, please. Uh, the Beatles. Uh, chupa chups. Sex. But with people. Another one who thinks the French invented sex? Maybe. No, but what a difference from other countries. Fernando, to Carlos, financial advantages. Uh, the pound doesn't depend on other European economies. Uh, uh, the euro is growing stronger in the international market. Uh, uh, come on, come on. Huh? Huh? Wait, 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 wait. We speak English. That's a definite advantage oh. in business. Most of us speak French and English. You English can't say the same thing. That's debatable, but we'll continue. No, we don't speak languages because we know we are badasses. And knowing we are badasses is an advantage in business. Not in this case. We speak Spanish, the second most commonly spoken language in the world. The second is English. The first then. Even better. The first is Mandarin Chinese. <laughs> Through the Chinese. Carlos, please. Uh, we have a close relationship with the USA. Great Britain is the mother of the greatest empire in the world. Big deal, we have got the South American market. We do have a close relationship with the USA. We're all they can never be. Absolutely, darling. That's not a financial advantage. Debatable, but we'll continue. Okay. Do languages count now? As long as you're stating advantages. Yes, so it seems like Fernando's cockiness was just a cover. Are you only realizing now? Fernando's turn. Oh, but, oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Spain is the European economy with the best focus. France is the world's fourth economic power. Oh, we are an economic power, too. You have to cite advantages over the other two. <laughs> we are an economic power. You must be talking about a power you don't even have. Come on. Uh, we have the lowest unemployment in the entire European Union. We have the most temporary jobs and short-term contracts. Very good for businessmen. We have the highest GNP and revenue of the three countries. Spain is the fastest growing European economy. Oh my God, power, growth, do you really have trouble getting it up? <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, shit. Oh. We don't have a fiscal deficit at present. Maybe not fiscal, how about physical? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't sell things we don't have. What did you say? Nothing, it's just that we don't mistake performance for, I don't know, peeping. Oh, come on, peeping chum. Come on, come on. <laughs> Fernando. What did you say? Nothing. Mind your own business, peeping chum. Go back to your people, eh? Right? Watch your step. Oh, relax, they're just puns. Fernando, throw it to Nieves, please. Yes, sorry. Oh, peeping Tom, peeping Tom. What's your peeping Tom? Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. Oh, we have a great market in the Arab countries. Oh. Our relationship with India and Australia is just as significant. Spain is Europe's biggest tourist destination. Oh, my God. Next, he's going to talk about topless beaches. <laughs> Fernando, that's not a financial advantage. <laughs> Poor guy, always wanted to be a broker, ended up being a wanker. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, what's so funny? What? Didn't you understand it? It was a stupid pun. Come on. 
Stop believing. Hold, 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 hold. When you regret not having had that child, then it's too late. Because it's getting late. Oh. Or when it's the Iberian macho who wants nothing to do with you. How long will that smile last before it becomes a grimace? There's only one difference between you and me. Just one. I learned long ago that you lose the battle on your own. On. having a hard time believing you're the psychologist. I thought you would have guessed. It did occur to me. But you're a very good actor. <laughs> you don't know how good. Because I'm a candidate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I was doing so badly that in the break I set up a secret trap with Monse against Enrique just to get a few points. And they accepted it. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> really are good. Are you all right? Would you like an aspirin? We always have it twice as hard, don't we? Women, I mean. Yes, we do. But you've been incredible. All day in all the tests, you were always my favorite. It's just what you see. There are no psychologists, it's just me and her. We set it up and we assess it. That's the method. And your imagination projects the rest. Incredible. So, Monse is not a psychologist as well? So, where does the method come from? Uh, nowhere. But it sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> Actors? What? Yes. Well, sometimes we even switch roles. He plays the secretary, I play the psychologist, all 
they have to decide is who leaves and who gets to stay. Oh, they, the team of psychologists. What a question. You don't think we do this on our own? It all depends on who's left. The ball test was open up. Why? Because we knew he had a problem with languages. So you were out to get him? No, 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 no. But let's just say the ball test was for Fernando. Languages aren't a part of the requirement. But we wanted to see how did he do under a disadvantage. Plus, we also knew that you <coughs> would take advantage of his weakness. Don't worry about Fernando. He was a jerk. And he was out anyway. How do you mean? But they were out, out really, except for you and Carlos. They were all ruled out. You mean that they weren't yes, part of the... But we needed more candidates in order to assess the two of you. She's getting the job, Carlos. That's how it is. At this moment, we should probably say to you that thank you so much for coming and have a good day. We'll be in touch, so and so on. Not just because Monse has decided, but women or not, psychologists or not, women always stick together. Well, she scored more than you in all the tests. You're not saying all of this just to throw me out, are you? No, 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 no. I made a deal with Monse. We are giving you a last chance. Listen, I think that to be honest, they all still prefer him. He's been scoring better in the tests, and truth be told, they're a little chauvinistic too. But in theory, at least, there is still one more test, and they're giving you a chance. You can still get the job. There's one more test. Let's say there is another test. But Carlos. Break her down? Look, Carlos, this is exceptional. I insisted. If you don't manage it, the job is <coughs> How do I do it? How do I break her down? However you want. Look, Carlos, I had to fight for it. Don't let me down. You've got 15 minutes. So Ricardo is going to do as if he's been held up. What you have to do while you wait with Carlos The job can still be yours, but you must persuade him to give up. Persuade him? Okay. Yes! Tell him that his mother's in the hospital, anything! Come on! Remember, 15 minutes. Anything goes. to shit from nerves. How are you? Fine. If, if I can help at all, if, if you want to talk. Fernando was such a bastard. He was so violent. I, I was scared. You really think he was a bastard? He nearly smashed your face with a ball. He went down about that child you never had and about how lonely you were. I guess he saw that vulnerable part of you. Let's skip it. You know, this is a shirt. Yes, I realized. <clears throat> it was so strange. I went in to wash the stain off mine, and before I knew it, it was gone. You met him in the bathroom, didn't you? Uh, Did you know that he was... <laughs> yes. What did he say? Oh, I'm just going to go inside to jerk off. No, no, no. I bet he said, I'll give you the child you never had, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay if you want to talk. I mean, I, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> of course. So Ricardo's taking his time. Carlos? I'm so glad I found you, even if it was here. Uh, one of us has to lose now. And even if it is me, I don't care. I'm not going to let you get away. Truth is, I haven't stopped thinking about you. Why? Why have you been thinking about me? Don't read more into what I say than really is. I, I didn't idealize what happened, but I didn't forget either. It's just that that night we made all those plans that could have been true, you know? All these years I've lived my life as usual and it's 
it's not like I, I miss that life that we invented, but it's just that I haven't invented anything. Was it true? Would you have had that child with me? Let's go. Let's go now. Forget the test. Now? Yes. We've clearly shown what we're worth. Let the company decide. Are you sure? How much more can they assess? How far do we have to compete until we tear each other's eyes out? I, I know, I know there are lots of applicants and this is one job. I understand we have to compete. I'm even willing to accept that life is like that. If I have to be a wolf, I'll be one. I didn't care with the others. But with you, I don't want to. I just don't. I want to go to the beach and get drunk and, and dream that we'll open that bar together. So you're going to persuade me? Yes, that's what I want to do. Mademoiselle? Not over yet. So what part of you do I have to believe now? This one, you... Of course. Of course, of course I should have realized. They gave you a task to, didn't I they? didn't achieve it, it doesn't matter. Everything you said. Was that why? You asked me about the child. Did you really want to know if I'd had that child with you? Or was it just to pass the test? It's not too late. You can still get the job. Do I have to do something for you to get it? What do I have to do, Carlos? <laughs> 